One old Bosch NICAD uh, planer. Old fitting battery. That's the new Bosch lithium iron battery, slide on fitting. Angle grinder. Great bit of kit, a little fatter than the 14. I've done a little adaption there from the old 14 to use the uh, no tool clip rather than the, the hex. What this video is about really is um, using the new batteries on the old tools. So what we have here is an adaption of one of these that would go that way on there, fold up and down, LED light, very light, very LED. Now that slips in there to basically make one of those. So it'll work on the planer. Yep. And it just we just clear. It's a little tight. I would say on the jigsaw for this adaption, it needs a couple of little indents there. For Just turn the compressor off. A couple of little indents there for the screws. And also the clips sometimes just need a clip to locate because of the old Bosch fitting being inset. Now, It's fundamentally a dismantle and assemble job. As you can see with these screws here, I've got one and other slightly offset, and I have to ground this, grind this down a little bit so that we can get those as far back and as much coverage as possible. Okay, that's four machine screws holding it together. Uh, it's really, like I say, a disassemble and assemble job. So in here, we have two plates that are made up of what I think is the polyurethane. It's a hard, harder outside and a softer inside. It doesn't feel that much softer. I think it's just shiny. them or they'll go somewhere. Well that's it really. Uh, these batteries you undo I think hex nuts, uh, sorry torques, uh, they pop out the little lug here. 
that'll fall apart. You'll have to snip the batteries. That's the the little assembly that you need to wire up to uh, the torch, which is is that there. These are worth drilling off of the battery. Just a, a little drill to pop them off. I think they're spot welded or that type of thing, along with, with the connection here, which isn't soldered, but it's rough them up, tin them, pop them on. The assembly is a little trickier without doing the whole thing. Pop that in there, you've got to pop them round. There's a bit of mucking around. Get the spring in, that's a new spring from local hardware store, Ron Rolls. Let's pop that in there. So that is, ideally you'd screw this in so it's not coming apart. The spring clips are a little tricky. I've cut the tops down, found some springs, pop them in. They will ping out. If you're not nice. Right, so that's gotta go down there first. That's a little bit of dowel cut to whatever length it is. Gotta go in. Bit of mucking around. It'll pop in there, hold the pins down, hold the dowel. That one is going in there, Put it down. And that's about the kitty. Uh, yep. So we're in that way. I've put the bolts Bolts, one down, one up. Well, that's about it. Just put it back together. <laughs> uh, and that now means that jigsaws, planers, and I think the old 24 volt. This is a nice one. The 24 volt will now work fine off of these. Oh, thanks again, Ron Rules, for the display battery. That's not going to work. Um, the the 24 volts will work better, work just as well as best I can tell with this 18, if not better. All these tools sound really lively with these batteries, four amps as opposed to 2.6. There you go.